the discovery of lifeless bodies continued all day long. Church structures continued to take in people who fear for their lives. This was the grim report aid to the church in need received from Father Jubeni Mabanga, the Chancellor of Bangui Archdiocese in the Central African Republic. As more than a million people fled their homes, aid to the church in need provided emergency aid for our suffering brothers and sisters, helping the church provide food, medicine and other essentials in the areas most directly affected. The crisis began in March 2013 when Seleka, a rebel militia group, seized power in the country and began a reign of terror. In particular, the church has been targeted by Islamist elements within Seleka. Telling aid to the church in need about events in December 2013, Father Mabanga wrote, Saturday night passing into Sunday morning appeared to be the calmest since the recent outbreak of violence in Bangui. But the news we received in the early morning hours told a very different story. Through the night, Seleka militia continued to take revenge, violate, pillage and kill. They have been going door to door, continuing to threaten people with their rifles, wounding and killing them with their knives. This way they don't draw the attention from neighbours or the patrols of the Franco-African intervention forces. At daybreak, the wounded and the dead were discovered in those areas. Father Mabanga also said, Children, young people and the elderly are killed in cold blood in hospitals. It will take time, much time, for the Central African Republic to heal from these wounds. While Seleka was formally disbanded in September 2013, its reign of terror continued, as Father Mabanga's letters show. And the country has been further destabilised as anti-Balaka militias, loyal to the president ousted by Seleka in March 2013, have started their own campaign of violence. While the media have described the brutality of Seleka and anti-Balaka as Christian-Muslim violence, Archbishop Duodone of Bangui decried such depictions as inaccurate. He said, We deplore the confusion that has been created with regard to the anti-Balaka and the linking of them to Christian movements. In point of fact, the anti-Balaka are an expression of the desperation of a section of the population in the face of the numerous outrages committed by the rebels of the Seleka movement. Nevertheless, we reiterate that not all the anti-Balaka are Christians, and that not all the Christians are anti-Balaka. The same is true of the Muslims and Seleka. As ordinary people, in some cases Muslims as well as Christians, flee to churches to escape the bloodshed. Aid to the church in need is providing food, shelter, medicine and clothing, in addition to our ongoing commitment to pastoral activities in the country. The Church in the Central African Republic is grateful for your generous support in this time of crisis. Bishop Edward Mathos of Bambari told Aid to the Church in Need, Please be assured of our prayers for all the benefactors who do not cease to show their concern for us. And above all, in these moments of grave trials, through which the depth of our faith is also tested. His words seem to echo those of Aid to the Church in Need's founder, Father Werenfrid von Stratton, who said, They are being tested in faith. We are being tested in love.